is people look at the look at your looks and think, oh, it's a bad person. They don't look to what's actually inside of someone. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't let people put you down because they might piss you off. Thanks guys for a brilliant performance. So, uh, anyone got any, any questions you'd like to ask? I was wondering if you were all uh, agreeing on the musical style or if you have discussions about that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we try and mix it up and have a bit of everything. So, like we've got a bit of country, a bit of Johnny Cash in there, a bit of rock and roll. Yeah. Where we have, we have our arguments, don't we, with certain lyrics? <laughs> We try and come up with it the best we can. Yeah. Oh, How was that? I was saying, what I was trying to say is it's really important that we remember. John, sure. Tom. Tom's now. <laughs> I kind of manage the band. I say kind of because <laughs> that's how it feels sometimes. We get together, we have a real laugh, we're all rude to each other, we write music, we play it as we have a way we want to, sort of thing, and then we do gigs and we just give it some. Yeah. The big thing we've got to be sure of, not so much for the vocalists to worry about, the big thing we've got to be aware of is when, when to stop. Without music, I don't think the world could, could, could live. Music hits so many people in different ways. Like, you can write a song about absolutely anything. And I think that's why music is a power of life, really. When we play our musical instruments, it makes us feel better because we're making noise and showing how we communicate through that. You don't find it quite as difficult when you're playing music than when you're actually talking. Someone face to face. Is it nice that you've got so many people coming to support yeah. you? Yeah. Because you've got a fan club. <laughs> 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 The fun is when you need to sing it loud, open your mouth and you want. It's not about being technically perfect, it's about getting this soul, it's about getting this spirit and using that power sort of thing. I want to go home to San Francisco. Stuck at a level crossing. Oh, that could be the chorus. I feel like I'm stuck at a level crossing waiting for Oh, that's a really good one. That's a great kind of at the crossroads. Yeah. So, stuck at the crossroads. What? In Tennessee. Stuck at the crossroads in Tennessee. I know, man. I'm a marquee. 
Hvor har han ikke skal have for mig te? Stop! Ja, ja. In Tennessee Who would I try at home to have my tea? I like it. Walk at the grassroots We were on the up, it felt really good, you know, and you go over every conversation you had and you start going, that, that was an odd thing to say, that was not, you know, and you suddenly see it more afterwards, I think, and that's, that's the frustrating thing. He was an inspirational young man, my son. He loved to sit at his piano for hours and not talk to anybody. And in many ways, coming and working with the band, he was, he was always absolutely vibrant and so very happy when he worked with Delta 7. They are probably the only thing that got my mum through the funeral. I spoke to Craig at the at the Albert afterwards, and he was in a terrible state. And I said, I said to him, I put my hand on his chest, and I said, Craig, I said, you got, to, you got to, you got to be okay for Tom. You've got to be okay. And he looked at me, and he nodded, and he disappeared. And he came back two minutes later. He said, Right, we play. And they played, zombies, at Tom's funeral. Probably the most difficult day of my life I found was when, uh, going to Tom's fr uh, funeral because I could relax, uh, I could feel everyone's pain or not, definitely. At Tom's funeral, we sing a song called Shabby. Was that difficult? Not really, no. I, I, I did it very easy to sing. Hello, uh, you alright? I'm struggling this morning. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no. Which one? The one oh, that no. she did with us? The cult of the uh, speed. He said he's coming. He's on his way, good. He's on his way. There you go. It's just not easy, is it? No. <laughs> We sat down, Linda came along, we sat all around and we talked about it and it felt really lovely then because it felt like best friends all just saying, how are we dealing with this, you know? And that was really good. How are you feeling, Harry, yeah, today? Yeah. You all right? Elliot. All right. Did we play guitar? I've been playing the guitar a little bit, or a bit. Loudly, is it right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he did great. He did great. Yeah, I'm rough. Yeah. Like, short, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Comes and goes, doesn't he? Yeah, sure. Mikey. Well, looking for everyone else. A bit hard to do, but I know he's here. Yeah. Looking down at us. Yeah. Saying, Eddie, it's still amplified, Harry. If he's been having good days, you might feel bad when you're at home, but when you're together, that's the yeah. thing. It is nice. Yeah. That bag disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go and make some music? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that feeling of Tom wasn't there really cut for me that day, you know? Part of me really wanted to try and let's write a beautiful song. Let's maybe it'd be really healing. But it was just, it felt really painful. I wonder why he did it. We all have our memories of him, but I'm the sort of person who tries to bottle it up and try not to let it show. When I get the time to let it off, I just go somewhere and cry or hit something. <laughs> I look up. I put him and I say, you silly so-and-so. But not worse, but, but a bit stronger than that. I normally say, you silly sod. How come you did that? Who was Tom? What was he like? He used to help chat to me and play the guitars for me. Just make me feel better. <laughs> so I just find it a bit difficult talking about it. Makes you feel better playing the guitars. That is how you do it. It, it was a shock in the way for anyone and to find out it was about Tom. So Tom, Tom was too young. I remember he was the same age as me. I don't mean my hat, I, 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 I saw some hair of being Tom Sorry. But because Tom Sorry always moved his hat around all the time. Wrote a bit about Tom. But he looked happy, but he was very good at masking his depression. I think there must have been other parts of his life that were more difficult for him. Because it always seemed like he really enjoyed making music with us, but never told me he was thinking about suicide. The music helped me through a lot when I was battling depression. Uh, I very nearly took my own life at the time. I just found everything so tiring and overwhelming at the time. Mainly stupid thoughts in my head. I thought I'd think I needed in myself to be a certain way to fit in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to describe it really, just physically tired inside your body. <laughs> it's just an effort even getting out of bed. And did anyone know that you felt like that? Mm. Didn't feel able to <laughs> tell people confident enough. No one knew what he was going through. It's been the first time for me to actually lost a close friend before. That was when it was really hit me, because it was like, I'm not going to see him again. I'm going to see him. I said goodbye for Tom. And I said goodbye, Tom. I miss you. I miss you. Oh, shut up. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry, shut up. It's not a really nice thing that has happened, but 
what I have to we just have to accept these things and put and forget and uh, not forget Tom, but forget about what has happened and just carry on with life. It's the past. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do every sort of people. I'm obviously going to be nervous, going to be sad. But in a way, I know it's what he would have wanted. It will be chuffed at if he could see it. It would be lovely. Good we did it, but I, it's part of me wanted it to go wrong because I wanted, it, I just wanted to, for it to need Tom, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Sounds stupid, but the thing is, we can carry on. We can do it. You know. band have got this great phrase they say of doing it for Tom, you know, and it's a wonderful thing, you know, it's something Tom crafted, this band, you know, he put his, he put his heart and soul into it, and, um, and I'm, I enjoy being around them as well, so I'm just, you know, I carry that on, hopefully, you know, that's the thing. <sighs> we are a big family, and I think that's always going to be the way. And I think we're just going to have to constantly support each other the best we can. Tonight is the first ever album we're releasing by Cal. And you can listen to us in your car, anywhere you want, day and night, 24 hours a day. Enjoy your night with your man, and today the beers and the party on the house. Everyone always talks, don't they, about how difficult it is to handle grief. And what do you say to someone who's lost someone really close to them. The members of Delta 7 somehow always say the right thing. And it's always right, because it's always true and real and in the moment. I think a lot of us could learn from that. They have taken the terrible thing that's happened and they've said, no, we're going to carry on, and we're going to carry on for ourselves and for Tom. They are inspiring. They are really inspiring. I know if you die, you've seen the way you know, it'll be my heart, Daddy, with everyone.